Hello, everybody. It is I, Lathaniel the reviewer here, back with part three, the last of my pumpkin fall season. Uh, I've got uh, kind of one I've been really waiting on to do. This is Cup Noodles Pumpkin Spice Flavor Ramen Noodles. So this is going to be interesting. I can't wait to try this one. I've been holding on to it for a while now. As far as the actual container, I'll just kind of show that to you really quick. Kind of just give you that little view. Yep, so nothing crazy there. Just kind of go over it. There is a special note on here that I kind of thought was interesting. For the sauciest pumpkin spice, follow the directions below. So primarily, they want you to remove lid, put it in the microwave, and then slurp away. So that was interesting. Normally, you know, if you don't have a microwave, what you do is normally just put in boiling hot water at a line. Give it about three minutes and it'll be ready. Of course, I don't have a microwave, so I will be doing it that way. One other little cool note on here, and I'll be able to try this one, is for an even more satisfying pumpkin experience, try topping with whipped cream. So I'm going to have a little bit of it without the whipped cream, and then after a couple bites, I'm going to try with whipped cream. It's... I'm going to... This is going to be interesting, because I don't know if it's going to be sweet, savory... You know, which pumpkin flavor would you like better? So, yeah, I'm going to get a pot of water going, and then we're going to cook them, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Later. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. I am back, and it's all cooked up. And first notes, you know, it is brown. It looks almost like a Starbucks Frappuccino or Latte color for the sauce. You know, it's creamed up pretty nicely. So, yeah, I'm going to taste it, uh, give it a couple bites, and I'm going to try it with some whipped cream I got. Wish me luck. <laughs> yeah, this is weird. Oh my God, that's much better than I thought this would ever be. Wow. Wow, that's really good. This is blowing my mind. You actually, you get pumpkin spice notes. There is a little bit of sweetness to it, but it's not too sweet. Wow. Pardon my slurping, but this is really good. I am actually surprised. You know, because I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if it was going to be sweet, savory, salty, you know, regular oriental kind of broth. Wow. It's a soy sauce if you want to go with the modern version. That's really good. And, you know, the messed up thing now is if you're trying to look for these, I don't know if they're bringing them back this fall. They originally came out last year. I've seen them go now on eBay from just one of these cups, anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks on eBay, sold prices. You know, I've got one more after this. But, wow. That's really good. I am thoroughly surprised, because, you know, if you remember... Uh, several months back, I did the breakfast uh, ramen. And I was actually quite disappointed in that one because you didn't really get enough hints of the sausage, the egg, the maple syrup. And I've been meaning to do a version where I make my own kind of amped up. But this is what I wanted to experience with that breakfast ramen. This is really good. Now, is this something I could eat all the time? Like I do my normal, you know, chicken ramen, beef ramen, you know, the Oriental one? No. Um, I would almost treat this like a special treat. This is a good annual flavor. This would leave a good memory, a good impression on like, man, remember that pumpkin spice ramen? And it comes in and it clicks. Versus say, if you do just a, store, a normal Starbucks uh, frappuccino coffee drink kind of thing where it's like, yeah, I kind of remembered it a little bit, but no, this is going to stick with me. Wow. 
So now I'm actually gonna try some Ready Whip to see what this is like and just popped it open brand new. Let's give it a shot. All right, I, I never use these things, so I, I think you do the thingy. All right. That's probably enough. Whoa, whoa. All right, so I got quite a bit in there. Hopefully you can see that. But kind of got too much right there. Like, you would never expect this to be ramen, but let's see if this might be too much. Mm. That might be a little bit too much. You know, maybe if you really want some sweet ramen. Eh, kinda, but not my jam necessarily. I think I would almost just take it by itself rather than the whipped cream. So I did kind of stir what was left in there. So a little bit sweeter, but not too much. And again, you know, it's not takeout ramen. It's not ramen you get at the restaurant. This is cup noodles. So basing it off of that and not comparing, you know, to the Nissan, Rao, you know, the tonkotsu, anything like that. For a cup noodle, noodle, this is a five-star ramen. Uh, if you can find it, now that being said, five-star, it's not worth $10. Please don't go spend $10 on this. Um, maybe if you're a fanatic, if you got a ramen tattoo, maybe. But, you know, if not, no, it's not worth 10 bucks. But if you're, like, absolutely fanatical about trying all their unique flavors and you maybe missed out on it last year you might want to hunt this down and even then only do it if you are a pumpkin spice fan because you're going to get pumpkin spice flavor in here if you don't like pumpkin spice flavor don't spend 15 bucks on this so but yeah i'm i'm absolutely enjoying it so if you guys had this this year last year are you going to go on ebay let me know what you're thinking i'm always reading the comments and ton more views coming up i got a couple of appliances to do so to speak but other than that i will see you guys in the next video later i'm gonna eat this bye damn it's good